Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really interesting product that promises to turn your Android phone into a tablet. Now this is from NextDoc and this is known as the NextPad. And I've really been looking forward to this because I'm a huge fan of the NextDoc line and I really do like using my Android device as a desktop replacement. But when it comes to the NextPad, this is much different from what they've offered in the past and I really do like the look of this thing. Definitely gives us that iMac vibe. We've got a really big chin here, but that's where we mount our device with a magnet system that they've got set up here. Over on the right hand side, we've got a USB Type-C in. Over on the left hand side, mini HDMI and two more USB Type-C ports. So this can be used as a portable monitor for basically anything that supports video over USB Type-C or HDMI. And it does include a few accessories like a full size HDMI to mini HDMI cable, We've got a bunch of different USB Type-C adapters here, and we've got our magnetic mounting system for our Android device. So these are going to stick to your phone case or maybe even the back of your phone. Personally, I would rather just stick these to a phone case itself, and they're going to mount right on the front of the next pad. It also includes this foldable back panel slash stand. Basically, this magnetically attaches to the back of the unit. We can fold it over to act like a stand, and there's actually a few ways you can set this up. I'll show you a couple in a second. But I'm actually really excited to test this out, and I do want to mention that this is not going to be compatible with every single Android device. If your Android device supports video out of USB Type-C, whether you've got a desktop environment or you can just mirror the screen, it'll work with that device. But it's not going to enable video out on Android devices that don't support it out of the box. Keep that in mind. Alright, so we've got this back panel here. We've also got our shorter USB Type-C cable, and this is what I'll be using to connect my Android device to the screen itself. And this actually has some really strong magnets in it, so basically all we need to do is attach the next pad right here. And just kind of line it up, and this thing definitely isn't going to go anywhere. It does take a little bit of force to get it off. And you could definitely use it without this, but uh, you know, we've got this foldable latch here, which acts as a really nice stand for the next pad itself. In this video, I'm going to be testing out two different Android devices that support desktop mode. First up, we've got the S21. And if you're familiar with the Samsung devices, you know we've got Samsung DeX here, or we could mirror the screen. But one that I've been using a lot lately is Motorola's new Ready 4. This is the Motorola X30, and it does have their desktop operating system built in, known as Ready 4. Not a great name, but it works really, really well. In order to get these devices attached to the front of the next pad, it does come with these little metal plates here. And I'm going to put this on the inside of this little silicone case that came with the Motorola X30. And the next pad has those magnets built right into the front so we can attach it right here. And getting everything up and running is super easy. We'll just plug our phone right into the next pad. And one thing I was a little disappointed about at first was the next pad doesn't have a built-in battery. It would have been really nice to have, you know, internal power on this. It's actually relying on your phone's battery, but it does offer pass-through charging. So if you plug the next dock in with a phone charger while your phone's connected, it'll charge it up. We've got some color settings here, some color temperature, and this has Ultra HDR, which is crazy saturated once you turn it on. Some people might really like this. Personally, I'm just going to leave it at auto. But the screen itself does look really good. It's a 12-inch IPS at 1920 by 1080. At that resolution, obviously, we've got a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And with these phones that do support desktop mode, a lot of them can work as a mouse and keyboard. So you can navigate the operating system with the touchpad on your phone screen, or you can use the built-in screen itself, because touch is functional here over USB Type-C. Another thing you do is plug in a mouse and keyboard to the next dock, and that data will transfer through, so you can use a mouse and keyboard with this whole setup also. And by the way, we're using Ready4 here now from Motorola, and I've got it scaled a little bit, so it's easier to see on camera. Usually, all these icons and everything are really small on this 1080p display, but I scaled it up from the settings just so we could see everything. And everything on the device functions just like it would on the built-in Android phone screen, but we've just got a much larger display. 12 inches here with multi-touch, and as you can see, it does look really, really good. Just doing a 1080p video here from YouTube, 60 FPS. And this Motorola X30 can basically handle anything you throw at it. It's got the newer Snapdragon Gen 1 CPU, so we've got plenty of power here. But yeah, I could take this on the go with me, and since we have that built-in desktop mode, you can definitely get some work done on this. And we don't need any external power to the next pad unless you want to charge your phone up while everything's connected. 
And one thing I would definitely use this for is gaming. I've got an Xbox controller connected to my phone, and we'll just run a Dreamcast game real quick. I'll just jump into a little bit of gameplay using ReDream with Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And by the way, this also works with native Android games, and since we have touch built in, if the game has to have touch controls, you can always use the next pad screen for that also. Another thing I would use this for is cloud gaming, be it Stadia, GeForce Now, or xCloud. Uh, they're calling it Xbox Game Pass or Game Streaming Now, but it does work. I mean, everything that's going to work on the display will work on the next pad just fine. And you know, I mean, this could be used in several different ways. What I've got here is the Galaxy S21. We're running Samsung DeX. And with the S21, we can use this totally as our trackpad. We can even bring up an on-screen keyboard. We can search the web here. So the phone itself is going to be working as kind of our mouse and keyboard. We've got the display here with touch built in. And we've got tons of different gestures here with the trackpad. And by the way, I do have power plugged into the next pad right now. And in turn, it's charging up my S21. But this whole setup here does work really well with Samsung DeX, and most of the time I'm actually connected to the phone itself with a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard, so I wouldn't even need the trackpad. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this can be plugged into any device that has video out of USB Type-C or HDMI. And this laptop here doesn't have touch built in, but as soon as I plug this in over USB Type-C, I'm mirroring the screen over here. You can also set it up as a second display if you want to. But we also have touch now. And if you did want to use this as a portable monitor for, let's say, a PS4 or an Xbox, you can plug in over HDMI, but you'll also need to add a USB cable to send power to the next pad itself. But overall, I really do like the concept here, and I completely understand that it's not for everybody. But when it comes down to it, more and more people only have their phone as their main PC, and more and more manufacturers are adding desktop mode. Lenovo has their own. We've got Samsung DeX with the high-end Samsung phones. Motorola has their Ready4 platform. LG was rolling out a really nice desktop to their higher-end phones, but unfortunately they don't make phones anymore. I know Huawei has one, and more manufacturers are going to be jumping on the bandwagon. So if you're interested in learning more about this or NextDoc's other products, I will leave a link in the description. There's more information over here. This does work with MacBooks, and you can actually turn that stand around and kind of magnetically attach it to the back of the monitor to kind of have a marquee display on your laptop. I mean, this would definitely work with other laptops also, but they do show it off for the MacBook. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I thought this was an interesting product, and I definitely wanted to get my hands on it. So links are in the description to the NextDoc website, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.